Hi, this is Kristen Jamison with Success Mortgage Partners. Today we're going to talk about why you should not spend the money you have saved for your down payment and closing costs um, in the mortgage loan process. Well, one of the number one mistakes people make when buying a home is they put too much money down into the transaction and it eliminates or depletes the reserves, um, meaning extra money you have after closing to for unforeseen expenses. So if something happens, you have that money left over to you know, make your mortgage payment, pay your car payment, your credit card, student loans. So really, it's never necessarily a good idea to deplete all of your assets. You really would like to have a couple months at least of reserves, two to six months um, left over after closing. And there's a lot of loan programs out there that range for very low down payments. So from 0% down payment all the way up till as much money as you'd ever wanna wanna put down. A number that I like to provide because most people don't quite, um, they don't know this. So um, every $10,000 you put down um, on a home really only changes your monthly payment $50 a month. And I know for me, I'd much rather keep $10,000 in a, a savings account or an account that can make money on my money than save $50 a month. The true savings um, in the mortgage process is actually in making one extra mortgage payment a year. If you do that, it's going to cut seven to eight years off the back side of your, your mortgage. Well, really, you need to talk with, with a loan officer and review your situation. Um, I personally like to see anybody that qualifies um, for the 100% USDA loan to go that route. Um, it has the lowest interest rates, lowest mortgage insurance, so lowest payment, um, and it doesn't require a down payment. So you have money for your closing costs or to save in reserves. Now, not everybody qualifies for that loan program. And so really, it's just you know, meeting with a loan officer, reviewing your qualifications, you know, what are your dreams, um, goals and desires and in, in buying a home. And then, then we can, you know, make your down payment um, work for your situation. Well, you always can spend the money in your savings account really on anything you want. Now, if that money has been saved or set aside for your down payment and closing costs, um, if you spend it prior to closing, that's never a good thing. You don't want to go on the day of closing and, and not have enough funds for, for your down payment and closing costs um, that you have always had set aside for that or been saving for. Once we get a, a purchase contract or once you're under contract or you, you committed or to, to move forward with a with a mortgage loan we have three days to to put everything into the system and, and send out our initial loan disclosures we have an estimated cash to close worksheet um, that I like to call your your mortgage Bible and it's going to list out all of the fees in connection with the mortgage loan process um, there are closing costs um, involved and then there are prepaid so prepaid expenses meaning the interest you pay from the day of closing um, till the following of the next month um, in the mortgage in, when taking out a mortgage you actually pay your mortgage in arrears as to where you pay your rent in advance so you pay say interest from the day of closing till the following month and then you skip a whole month before your first mortgage payment starts um, having to pay your first year of insurance up front um, and then setting up your tax and escrow uh, account for the lender so that has to go out within three days of of closing now there's also um, the loan estimate um, that comes out in that disclosure package that talks about all the the terms of the loan and if there's a say a prepayment penalty or any negative amortization or or any of the stuff that um, wasn't maybe disclosed properly um, in years past so that all comes within you know three days of you making your mortgage application and what constitutes a mortgage application is that you have a property um, so an application is tied to the borrower and the property so it's not just a pre-approval. Um, we can talk about the costs as far as lender costs are concerned, um, but we can't really talk about any property related costs until there is a, a property involved. Well, one thing you can do, so gifts are always, you know, gifts are always acceptable for your down payment and closing costs. So we can work towards a gift um, from maybe a, a family member 
um, or an employer. Uh, you can always pull from investment accounts or retirement accounts. Um, and most 401ks allow for withdrawal because of a primary residence purchase. Um, and, you know, future savings, maybe it's, you know, moving your closing date out um, to save the money. And something is that we can do from the lending side of it is oftentimes we can some play with the interest rate a little bit. And maybe we take a, a little bit higher of an interest rate and then we as the lender could give you a credit to offset the difference um, in what you what you needed and, and what you have so you can still close and move into your home on time. If you have any questions on down payment or closing costs or what to expect in the mortgage loan process, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or my team, 352-242-1535. Thanks.